With each signal assembly shipped from the factory, there is a kit to aid in the masking procedure. This kit will include a roll of 3M optical masking tape, a squeegee, and instructions. You will also need scissors, a small knife, or a razor blade before the masking process begins. To start the masking procedure, a section of the masking tape should be placed over the optical limiter to mask out the sky and the distant roadway. The squeegee is then used to eliminate air bubbles which might be trapped between the tape and the glass. This will help secure the tape and eliminate glare. Care should be used to ensure that the tape is making contact with the glass all the way down to where the glass physically meets the housing. The squeegee should be moved up on the edge of the signal case. The overlap tape should carefully be squeegee to the signal case and out along the lip of the case. Then cut off the excess tape on the signal case, not on the edge of the glass. This will ensure a tight seal of the tape to mask the light properly. Next, apply the tape to the image area of the glass representing the section of the roadway that should not see the signal. Remember that the image is inverted, and the image that appears on the left of the optical limiter will be the roadway on the right. All the area that should not see the signal should be masked off. When the tape is properly placed, squeegee in the same manner as before to work out air bubbles. and cut off the excess tape on the edge of the signal case. Now apply the tape to the opposite area of the glass, squeegee, and trim. Next, apply tape to the top of the glass and squeegee as before. Secure the tape to both the limiter and the signal housing. Then trim. Finally, apply the tape to any sections of glass which still need to be masked. Be careful not to mask out areas of image where the signal should be viewed. When the masking is complete, view the image on the glass and check to see that this is the area on the roadway that should see the signal. If more image is required, cut the tape on the glass with a knife and carefully peel off the unwanted tape without disturbing the remaining tape. It is also recommended to view the signal from the roadway itself to make sure that the correct masking has been achieved. When this signal has been properly masked, replace the diffuser. and close the lamp housing. Repeat the masking procedure with the other indications. Begin masking out the section of roadway where the signal should not be seen. Make sure that all tape is squeegeed flat on both the glass and the signal housing. Cut the outer excess tape only on the signal housing, not on the glass during the masking procedure. After the masking is completed and checked, replace the diffuser and close the lamp housing assembly. When masking the signal, which will be using an arrow, it is recommended that you replace the arrow lens in front of the signal housing with the yellow lens.
This will enable you to mask with the total viewing area, not just the arrow portion. Mask the optical limiter in the same manner as before. Then transfer the yellow lens back to its signal housing. and secure it to the housing. Replace the arrow lens and be sure to secure and tighten all bolts. When all indications have been masked and checked, inspect the signal housings before leaving the site and be sure nothing has been left in or on the indications. Installed, aimed, and masked correctly, the Model 131 can be used in many traffic situations to aid in safe and effective traffic flow.